so I want to talk a little bit about the furniture market and how it's changed over the past 20 years. It's went up and down, lots of lots of change and what people are, what's desirable to a lot of people. Uh, this booth is really interesting to me because there's lots of variety of furniture. And uh, here's an example of an oak, a curved glass, triple curved glass, china cabinet, a small claw foot, uh, wooden shelves. It's all original finish on it. Now, what I find interesting about this is a, a cabinet like this, uh, we would sell 15, 20 years ago for eight to twelve hundred dollars. Uh, today, price retail is six hundred and ninety-five, and I know you can get it for less than this. You can get a ten percent off. It's going to make it around six hundred dollars. Uh, and we used to sell these eight to twelve hundred. Next cabinet over is the same same kind of thing. This oak furniture from the turn of the century. Um, it looks like a Hoosier style, seller style. I'm not sure the exact maker of this one, but again, uh, oak cabinet, drawers, doors, unusual. It's got the zinc top on it. Uh, all quarter sawn cabinets like this we we would sell regularly at auction from eight to twelve hundred today 595 prices have changed a lot and right behind lucas in the same booth we have a, another piece that's the opposite so here's a little french marble top table that 20 years ago uh, i would get maybe 20 to 25 dollars out of it today it's priced at 145 and and believe it or not this dealer sells a lot of this kind of item same booth <laughs> this is going to be really funny here 20 years ago, we would never have dreamed of selling a 1960s laminate cabinet. Now, there's one sitting here in the mall at 125, and the funny thing about this is, we sell a lot of this kind of furniture today. Younger generation, it's got the look, it's out of the 60s, roughly 1960s, very collectible. So the market in the furniture market, and it's changing all the time. Let's see what else we can find in this booth. Here we go. Mahogany uh, 1840 Empire transitional chest. It's got your rope twist on the bottom, glass door, all original finish, glass knobs on it. Uh, look at the dovetailing in this thing. This is a handmade piece of furniture. Uh, so again, a chest, you're thinking a handmade chest from that age has got to be, you know, eight, twelve hundred dollars No, retail $425. Again, we would sell this for more than that at auction 10, 15 years ago. If you're looking to buy furniture for your home, if you're a young couple, you're trying to think, hey, do we want to put something in our house that's going to last for a long time, I'm just encouraging you to buy something that's going to be around another 100 years. The 1960s cabinet over there, nothing against it, but it's already coming apart a little bit. It's made of, it's got some press woods and stuff inside. This is solid, 150 year old piece. It's going to be around another 150 years. Let's go around the corner. This is just an interesting booth with lots of different variety in here. Here's a piece probably made in, the, I'm guessing, the 1940s or 50s. Um, this is probably by Davis. Uh, Davis Cabinet Company made this style. I'm, I, it might be them. It's solid cherry. So this is a solid cherry three drawer stand. Um, everything about this is solid. There's no, no particle board on this. $195 the way it sits. It's a three, three drawer cabinet. It's going to be around for a long time. Um, this, this again, very, very popular uh, 15 years ago. We used to sell lots of solid cherry suits, Davis, Willet, different things for a lot of money. Let's continue on. Just have a, another small glance windows leaded glass windows these are oh boy these are almost six foot tall i'm six foot they're close are you in there luke you mm -hmm. say hi to yourself three of them right here they're priced at 225 each um, the variety you can see of any of our uh, not it's anywhere in the building really you're going to see from a to z but this this guy particularly he, he gets in lots of estates he tries to sell at a lower price to move a lot of furniture and lots of smalls um, and he does he sells a lot of volume here so let's just have one more quick look. Um, here's another example. Now, this, this uh, before I look at the price, Victorian marble top. This is probably an 1850-ish. Uh, you can look at the hand-cut dovetails all the way. Show them these dovetails right here. Look. See, this is all hand-cut hand dovetailing. It's, it's uh, got a little panel drawer on the bottom. Marble top all the way through. Acorn pulls on it. Nice mirror, oval top. Again, at auction. 15, 20 years ago, this dresser would bring me five to seven hundred dollars. Today, it's priced at two hundred ninety-five dollars. Again, you're going to get you're going to get a ten percent off that. So you're really looking at less than uh, two hundred seventy-five dollars, less than that for this dresser today. And it's going to last another hundred years if you just take care of it. A beautiful piece of furniture. This stuff's going to come back. It's, everything goes up, everything goes down in this industry. We see it all the time. So if you're looking to buy furniture, you're looking to invest in furniture, a great time to get into some of the turn of the century and Victorian furniture. Uh, if you're looking to set up a house, come here to the heart of Ohio. We've got great deals on furniture all over the mall.